Civil, you know, bad mannered. Bah. Exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Got a good catch there, Apple Blue. <laughs> <laughs> this is a chore? Since we can't sell the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pig stick. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Wanna try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right, it is hard work. That's why we do it. Together! Hm, <laughs> never wants to do chores together. Ugh. Oh, that work ruined! Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> Idea! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions! Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't... <clears throat> no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Not awesome. 
awesome. Couldn't be more awesome. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Uh, you did that already. That's pretty much all you can do, huh? this competition, so I'm gonna have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me, through Ghastly Gorge. Dun dun dun. Kazuna. <sighs> Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! all day that you completely forgot about the picnic. Why don't you just relax and go hang out with... The picnic! I should go see my friends. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Please tell me I did not forget the plates. I did. I totally forgot them. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst. You didn't expect me to lay on the grass, did you? You all right, huh? No! I am not all right. What? Oh, no. I don't what quite I understand. Do. It's just terrible. Yes. yes? Simply awful. Yes? yes? It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. Yes? yes? 
My letter to Princess Celestia is almost overdue, and I haven't learned anything about friendship! <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. <laughs> something awful has happened! If I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be tardy! Tardy! <laughs> <laughs> No offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. This is not nothing. This is everything. I need you guys to help me find some pony with a problem I can fix before sundown. My whole life depends on it! Oh, Twilight, you're such a crack-up! <laughs> Come on now. Have a seat and stop sweating the small stuff. <sighs> wow, I've never seen Twilight so upset before. Oh, what a drama queen! <clears throat> Relatively speaking. Clock is ticking, Twilight. Clock is ticking! Keep it together. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem! <laughs> hi, girls! Oh, hi, Twilight. How's it going? Great. Just great. You three look like you're doing great, too. Looks like three good friends who obviously don't need the help of another good friend. Smarty Pants. She was mine when I was your age, and now I want to give her to you! Uh, she's uh, great. Yeah, great. Hatsy <gasps> Pants! I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I can see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh... Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the Derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con. Going to the Derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. And I won't. Opal! I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! And it's Fleetfoot's fallout! No! Bravo, Rarity! 
Royalty. I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Boats trainer, of course. Staying at Candelot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, really? Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. Beats me. Rise! Get back! All of you! This is my book, and I'm gonna read it! <gasps> the elements! Discord and put everything back to normal. See, girls? We did it! We found the elements of harmony! Together! <sighs> you don't even care, do you? No! Oh, I never thought it would happen. My friends... have turned into complete jerks! <sighs> necklace, 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 and big crow thingy! Come on, every pony, let's go! But Twilight, aren't you missing some pony? Nope. We got the liar, the grump, the hoarder, and the brute. That just about covers it. What about Rainbow Dash? Congratulations, Spike. You're the new Rainbow Dash. Now let's go! Me? But, but, but what if she finds out I've been impersonating her? Ugh, that won't end well. Too bad. You're Rainbow Dash. Now let's go defeat Discord so we don't ever have to talk to each other again. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Well, 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 I see you found the elements of harmony. How terrifying. Discord, I figured out your lame riddle. You're in for it now. I certainly am. You've clearly outdueled me, and now it's time to meet my fate. I'm prepared to be defeated now, ladies. Fire when ready. Formation, now! Uh... Rainbow Dash, get over here! <clears throat> All right, let's get this over with. Mine's working. There must be something wrong with yours. I hate the elements of harmony. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Sorry, Twilight. I guess I better get back upstairs and clean up the library. Good luck with all this. No! <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Rainbow Crash. <laughs> Bravo, ponies. Bravo. Harmony in Equestria is officially dead. Discord rules Celestia drools. <laughs> it's your fault it didn't work! Who are you talking to? Any of you! All of you! I'm out of here! I better go, too. I got new, better friends waiting for me at the farm. Yeah, I'm sick of you losers. Fine, leave! See if I care! I don't need you guys, either. With friends like you, who needs... enemies? <laughs> My stomach! <laughs> 
Oh. Twilight, you've got to see what I just did. <laughs> Everything okay in there? Who needs a diaper change? Don't worry, they're fine. Ooh, I mean... Oh, I've got it. Is any pony hungry? Uh, no thanks. I just had a big breakfast. I'm on it. Oh, 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 you're making funny faces. I have one. <laughs> no, you see, Pinky, the babies need to be burped. Chew on things, pumpkin cake. Except food. Great, <gasps> great cinnamon sticks. I completely forgot. No, you just fed them bottles, remember? Not the baby's food. The food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today. Oh, with the new twins, we've been so distracted. Quick, honey bun. We need to find a babysitter to watch the foals while we take care of this. I can do it. I want to do it. Oh, the babies love playing with me. I'll do it. Wonder who would be available on such short notice? Me! Me! Pick me! Oh, I would love to babysit. But I can't today, sorry. I promised Angel we'd go on a picnic. You understand, don't you? You're not mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me! I'll do it! Pick me! I have to finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. I want to babysit! Pick me! <laughs> babysit? Now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on. <laughs> to the Wonderbolts air show this afternoon. Got a dash. Ask me. Me, 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 me. Moi, babysit. Oh, no, 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 no. I am flattered that you would think about me, though. Pinkie Pie, how would you like to babysit for us? <gasps> I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. <laughs> now, Pinky, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible. Why, responsibility is my middle name. Pinky Responsibility Pie. But this time, you need to take care of them, not just play with them. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am. Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsi... Consider it done. We'll frost it when we get there. Come on, sugar plum, tick, tick. We gotta try something else. I've got it, brother of mine. Well done, Flam. We're at top of activity. Come on, Rainbow Dash. Keep grinding. We don't have time for quality control if we want to win this thing. Ah! Get back, you 
you. One bad apple spoils that bunch. Applejack, help me. There's no point in winning if we cheat. We'll just have to work harder. Come on, every pony. All right then. Double time. <laughs> Jack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that will always be rewarded. Blum and Blum win! What? what? We lost? Aw, oh, too bad, Apples. Guess you'll just have to find a new line of work that doesn't match your names quite so perfectly. Now, should we tear down all these tacky old buildings and put up new ones, brother? I don't see why not, brother. After all, this isn't Sweet Apple Acres anymore. How about Flim Flam Fields? I ought to press you into jerk sight! No, Rainbow Dash. A deal's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to y'all. The cider business in Ponyville is yours. Come on, Apples. Let's go pack up our things. Fear not, every pony. There's more than enough cider to go around. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, every pony. Go on, y'all. It's okay. <laughs> Drink up, Pony Bell. Down the hat. In it. I wouldn't pay one cent for this drip. You wouldn't pay even one cent? No! How about two cups for one cent? No! <laughs> two bits for a barrel? No! <laughs> it looks like we've encountered a slight problem here in Ponyville. No pony wants our product. Next town? Next town. <laughs> Let's go, Sam. Let's go, Flam. They're gone. That means Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. Plus, we can have high quality Apple Family Cider. Because of this silly competition, we've made enough of our cider for the whole town. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to share my thoughts with you. <clears throat> I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. If you take your time to do things the right way, your work will speak for itself. Sure, I could tell you I learned something about how my friends are always there to help me and I can count on them no matter what, but truth is, I knew that already too. Pinkie Pie, I thought you appreciated a good laugh. It's different. They're laughing at me. It's hardly different. Your friends laugh at you all the time. My friends laugh with me, not at me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I don't think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh. Pinkie? What 
Why is Buzz as her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinky. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> oh my. Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. No, no, I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. But get to the center to meet the others. <laughs> Forever, but it was worth it. Who knew three little gemstones would turn out to be this handsome hunk of a diamond? <gasps> now to get you home. Huh? Rarity, are we glad to see? Why are you carrying a humongous boulder? What do you mean, boulder? This big, beautiful, bedazzling rock is a diamond! And it's all mine! Keep your envious little eyes off it! I found it and it's mine, fair and square! Okay, I can do this. I can... No! Oh, wait a minute! Butterflies? Wait! Don't leave me here! Fluttershy, looks like you've been left behind by your so-called friends, huh? Oh, no. I'm certain they're doing their best to find me. Well, it must be so upsetting to know how weak and helpless they think you are. Not at all. I am weak and helpless, and I appreciate their understanding. Yes, well, surely it burns you up. I mean, that they're always pointing out your flaws, right? Not really. In fact, I think I'm awfully lucky to have friends who want me to be the best I can be. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel! Huh? I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. Cranky got this. Huh, will you look at that? Hey, Cranky, can I ask you about... <laughs> what did you say? Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. What have you done? <laughs> there! Uh, all better? No, not all better. All soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't. Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never or never ever? Never, ever, 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 ever. That's four evers. That's like forever. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over the top, super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no, it's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. No, no, leave me alone. Wait, I understand that you don't want me as a friend. No, I don't. So I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Fine, you said it. But you 
Nothing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can't be. Is it really you? It can, and it is. Matilda, but how? Pinky. I gotta think of something. Think, 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 Twilight, think! Uh, that's it! Ooh, you're going to like Smarty Pants, and you're going to like her more than anything! Now, if you could just give her to me. Nope. Oh, no! Give her back! No! Don't touch it! Give her back. What's all the commotion about? They're fighting over that doll! That incredible, amazing doll! Y'all hear that? What in the name of all things oats and apples is going on here? Don't look at it! Don't look at what? My Smarty Pants doll. I enchanted her and now every pony is fighting over her. Why would you enchant your doll? Oh, I had to do something. I had nothing to report to Princess Celestia. I thought if I couldn't find a problem, I'd make a problem. The day is almost over. Not almost. Twilight Sparkle. Poor Millie. Thank you. 
Meet me in the library. Goodbye, girls. If you care to visit, I'll be in Magic Kindergarten, back in Canterlot. Magic Kindergarten? Canterlot? We're never gonna see Twilight again! Uh, what are we gonna do, y'all? Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing! <laughs> what? I really mean it this time! Uh, but I'm supposed to send you a letter about friendship every week. I missed the deadline. I'm a bad student. I'm tardy. You are a wonderful student, Twilight. I don't have to get a letter every week to know that. Really? Wait! You can't punish her! It wasn't her fault. I'm listening. Please, Your Highness, we all saw that Twilight was upset. But we thought that the thing that she was worrying about wasn't worth worrying about. The answers you seek and let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh, best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes, I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see. You, Twilight, you will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and? That's it. Are you sure? Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that, see? Where did that even come from? La, 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 la. Gosh, I haven't seen Twilight since the flower pot incident. Hope she still isn't mad. Uh... Off by point zero two from yesterday. Carry the 15. Negative azimuth on the 14th moon. Hey, Pinky. Twilight's really serious about finding out about that cool birthday present, isn't she? Who cares? As long as I can keep eating ice cream. Sorry, future Spike. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, uh, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure! So I was thinking, after I came to see Madam Pinky and the flower pot landed on my head, see the bandage just like the bandage from the future? Nice! I had an epiphany after that flower pot. Doing things didn't work, not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either, so I only had one other choice. Monitor everything. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. I thought I saw something last night in the Horsehead Nebula, but after staring at it for three straight hours, I realized I was wrong. Three hours? But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. You've been awake too long, Twilight. Yeah, Tuesday's not three days from now. Tuesday's tomorrow. <gasps> Pinky, did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadioptric telescopes? I have no idea. Patches stashed all over Ponyville in case of eye patch emergency. There, now you look like a pirate, a sleepy pirate with a really weird mane cut. The eye patch, another sign. <sighs> Nearly all the signs have come true. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow and the disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution. I'll just have to stop time. Canterlot archives are right over there. Let's move. Uh, I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. Sorry. Come on, you guys. Oh, that was.
was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh. Are you sure? Focus, guys. The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! Water shine, open! Achoo! Hi, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Water shine, what happened to you? Oh, I. <sighs> I think I have <coughs> the pony pox. I'm sorry. I really, really wanted to come to training day today. <laughs> but this pony pox has really knocked me for a loop. A chew. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know, there's only one cure for pony pox. I know. Plenty of pets. <laughs> Cold water. Those pony pox are clearing right up. You know, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm starting to feel better. I, I'll just get out of these robes and... Ow! Oh, my wing. Oh, ow, it's hurt. I guess I can't fly after it. <laughs> Messed up wing, huh? Stop horsing around, Fluttershy. We've got a lot of training to do. Come on now. What's going on? Well, you see... Huh, well... Oh, Rainbow Dash, I just can't do it. I can't fly. What are you talking about? Just last week, you went into that wicked nosedive to save that falling baby bird right before it hit the ground. But that was different. That was an emergency. This whole tornado thing, it's more like a performance. And you know how I hate performing in front of others. Don't you remember flight camp? I couldn't gallop hard or fly fast. Not with every pony looking at me. It wasn't that bad. You're right, Rainbow Dash. It wasn't bad. It was horrible. <laughs> All the other fools used to tease me. A lot! Fluttershy, Fluttershy, Fluttershy can hardly touch Fluttershy. Oh, I just can't risk that sort of humiliation again. Suck it up, Fluttershy! This is no time for... I mean... Confidence or no confidence, I'm gonna need every Pegasus to break the record, including you. I need every ounce of wing power I can get. Oh, I don't think so, Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Thanks anyway. Wait. I'll do it. You will? I will. You're game? I'm game. All right! What exactly does this machine do? This is an anemometer. It measures your accelerative velocity and translates it into wing power, thus gauging your cumulative H2O anti-gravitational potential. Any other questions? Yeah. What exactly does this machine do? It tells you how fast you're flying and how strong your wings are. Oh. Oh, oh. okay, yes. Yeah. You made it right now, yeah. <laughs> is that you again, Thunderlane? Please, we need to have a germ-free environment. It wasn't me, it was Blossomforth. Don't worry, Twilight. Thunderlane's just cooking up an excuse to spend Tornado Day in bed. Why don't you get over here and be our first test flyer, Thunderlane? <coughs> we have 9.3 wing power. Wow, that's fast! Yeah! Not bad, not bad. Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple 
Uncle Gloom? It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back! Well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I've tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie marks and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly! You have tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. Yeah, I can't wait. Ah! Apple Bloom, you got your cutie mark! I can't! If you can't catch her, Discord wins! That big, dumb... for a group hug. <laughs> Chaos 
is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Not as wonderful as friendship. Oh, this again. That's right. You couldn't break apart our friendship for long. Oh, Applejack, don't lie to me. I'm the one who made you a liar. Will you ever learn? I'll tell you what we've learned, Discord. We've learned that friendship isn't always easy. But there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. Oh, gag. Fine, go ahead. Try and use your little elements. Frenemies. Just make it quick. I'm missing some excellent chaos here. All right, ladies. Let's show them what friendship can do. Wait, wait, wait! gathered here today to once again honor the heroism of these six friends who stood up to the villain Discord and saved Equestria from eternal chaos. Yeah!